Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic. I've got another knife review for you guys today. And I am excited to be back. Uh, this uh, little hiatus, it, it really got to me. Um, and basically I just wanted to focus my time and energy on making sure that my family was safe and everything was good to go with this hurricane coming. And luckily... It didn't hit us near as bad as we thought it was going to. We had a little bit of flooding and some winds and rain, but really minimal damage, and we came through it A-OK, -okay, and I have just been itching to uh, make a video. So it's good to be back, and I really appreciate all the uh, well wishes that you guys sent my way. That really meant a lot to me, and uh, you know, it's just good to be back with you guys. <clears throat> and today... We are going to be reviewing the Tangram Santa Fe, but first, let's dive into what I carried today. And along with this guy here, I carried the GEC H208 fixed blade, which is pretty much the same thing as the H200 that I reviewed, except this guy is in um, OD Green Micarta, and it is a clip point. But it, it's a great, great little fixed blade. And I also carried the Bark River Knives Ultralight Bushcrafter. Black Canvas Micarta. Another killer little knife. And my Swiss Army Knife carry was my Victorinox Alox Cadet. And my Flashlight carry was the Olight S1R Baton Turbo and some exciting news I ran across a guy online that was selling some of the limited edition raw brass S mini batons so I snagged one of those he was letting them go for a really good price and I've been wanting one for a long time now so in the next day or so I should have one of those arriving in the mailbox so look forward to putting that little guy on camera but that does it for my daily carry so that means it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty the knife of the hour the knife that we've all been waiting for or at least the knife that I've been waiting for the review knife and like I said we're gonna be reviewing the Tangram Santa Fe which this knife has been out for a good little while but I was fortunate enough um, if you watched the mail call unboxing video I received several really really cool knives from JB over at at uh, Big Red EDC and I mean I'm I'm so appreciative of that like he sent some really cool knives that I've never had my hands on and have been wanting to get my hands on and this is definitely one of them because when I first got into modern folders Somehow, and I don't really remember how, I think it was, you know, perusing Amazon and watching some videos, I came across Kaiser and their Vanguard series, and I really was, like, intrigued because you're getting, you know, some a pretty decent knife for a pretty decent price, so I, I bought several of them. I bought probably six or eight different uh, of the Kaiser Vanguards. Um, I know I had a Beg Lighter, an Intrepid, a Gemini, and I ended up, you know, of course, with me, I don't know if it's the same with you guys, but in my knife collecting, my interests kind of shift from, you know, I don't know, area to area. Like at one minute, I'm, I'm all into modern folders. The next minute, I'm into traditionals and slip joints, fixed blades. I ended up trading them all off to... Uh, get other knives that I wanted and so when these came out I was really interested in getting my hands on one because I know Kaiser puts out a good product and I wanted to see what they could put out for around thirty dollars because you know in my research that's what these guys are going for right around thirty dollars and I gotta say that they're able to come out with a pretty daggum decent knife. I mean, 
I was super impressed with this guy. But before I go any further with the uh, meat and taters portion, let's get the boring stuff out of the way and get some measurements and weight on this guy. Just so you know what you're going to be dealing with if you buy one, if you don't already have one. And we're looking at four and a quarter clothes length. And we've got about seven and a half fully open with a three and five sixteenth full blade length and a cutting edge of, let's say, three and a quarter. Let's get a weight on this little guy. And it's not going to be very high because this is a super light knife. I mean, this is... This, this guy really rides great in your pocket. We're looking at three and 3.4 ounces. So a little less than three and a half ounces, which converts to 96 grams. And yeah, this, this guy is super light. Like he just, you put him in your pocket and you forget about it until you need it. And that's what I like in a knife. I don't, I don't like big, bulky, heavy knives that all day long you're walking around you're like ah, i got a knife on me i got a knife on me and this guy you put him in your pocket and he's gone he just kind of hides there until he's needed and uh that is a big plus in my book we're looking at some textured g10 handle scales and this this textured g10 is really grippy but it's not like grippy to the point you put it in your pocket and it's like pulling a molar trying to get it out of your pocket like he, he goes in your pocket in and out of your pocket with like super ease like and I that's a big plus also in a knife um, in my opinion because I hate a knife that you put in your pocket and then you have to fight to get it out when it's time to use it and this guy just pops right out um, you've got a nice stainless steel deep carry pocket clip and it is left or right tip up only um which is you know cool with me I, I on some knives i prefer tip down on some knives i prefer tip up but really when it comes down to it it doesn't matter either way because i'm not in a situation where i have to do some kind of rapid deployment and you know get my knife out and deployed in milliseconds you know as long as it's readily available when i need it i'm cool with it We're looking at some stainless steel hardware all the way around. You got a stainless steel stop pin, stainless steel barrel spacers, fully open construction. And I don't know if you can see it, but you've got a skeletonized liner on the non locking side to reduce weight. And apparently, that, that was the ticket because the sky is super light. And you're looking at a nice worn cliff blade in Japanese 440 Akuto. And I did some research on uh, 440 Akuto because I'm not, you know, super uh, up to speed on that blade steel. And basically, I'm gathering that it's about the same performance as 440C, which is, it's a good blade steel, especially for the price. It's going to hold an edge decently. And it's also like super easy to, to put an edge back on it when it gets dull. Um, it's, it's a good all around steel, in my opinion. Um, if you can see it right there, which you can't because it's kind of blurry. But you've got the Tangram logo on the other side. You've got Santa Fe. Uh, you got JPN Akuto, which is Japanese Akuto. Um, and the only, literally the only complaint I have about this knife, because I absolutely love this knife. I will be want, buying one of these. Um, you can be rest assured of that because I was super impressed with it. And the only complaint I had was that if you're going to do jimping, move it a little bit forward on the spine and make it more aggressive because this... I mean, basically, this is just for looks. It's not functional at all. It doesn't serve a purpose. But with that being said, the ergonomics on this guy 
make it to where jimping is really not a necessity. You got a nice finger groove here, a nice cutout here for your other three fingers. And I mean, it is just, it's ergonomic as crap. Like it really fits well in the hand. And like I said, with that texture G10, like it, it really fits well. It grips well. It's not coming out of your hand. It's comfortable in any grip. And the action on this guy, it rides on bearings. So the action on this guy is just phenomenal. I mean, for a $30 knife, I mean, you can't beat that. That is just great action. I mean, it doesn't fall shut. You don't disengage the lock and it just drops down, but just a little light shake, boom, right in place. You can spidey flick it, flick it with your thumb. And I, I mean, it deploys in an instant. So, yeah, I was super impressed with this knife, especially for the price. I mean, you can't beat it. $30 and you have a great knife. It cuts like a little demon. It's got a cool blade shape. It fits great in the hand. I mean, it's just an all-around great knife. So, therefore, this one right here definitely gets the Grateful Panic Seal of Approval, which is one and three quarters thumbs up. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry for the uh, long hiatus. Um, it probably bothered me more than it bothered you guys because you have your own lives to live and you've got better things to do than listen to me ramble on and on about sharp, pointy, stabby things. But like a, a great man that we like to call Bubba Peppers once said, that's what brings us together. That is That's the key right there. Um, so I'm going to drop some, uh, channels down in the description for you guys to check out and definitely check these guys out because they put out some great content. They're, uh, you know, just in my limited knowledge of them, they're, they're great people. They're really down to earth guys and they're going to give you their honest opinion. They're not gonna, you know, bull crap you on, Oh, this is the best knife in the world. You got to buy it. And it's really a, you know, a hunk of junk. They're going to tell you straight up whether it's a good knife or not. And that's what we need um, in this community. So once again, you know, thank you guys. I really appreciate you watching. Um, it's great to be back. And I really appreciate all your well wishes. Um, so with that being said, this is Grateful Panic signing off. And remember, guys, stay alert, stay alive. And hey, how about do something nice for somebody today? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.